What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'd like you to consider hitting subscribe, leave a comment down below and hit a like on the video. With that out of the way, let's jump into the video. All right, let's have a casual discussion here. As the title says above, save your ammo or shoot it. Before we go any further, what are you guys doing out there? Are you guys shooting your ammo or are you saving your ammo? Me personally, I'm an avid shooter. If you're an avid shooter, you're a reloader. If you're a reloader, you're a stockpiler. And over the years, I've stockpiled plenty of supplies. Hopefully it'll last me through this. I think I got it pretty much covered. But again, I had to scale back my shooting as well, just so I can go the distance and hopefully things come around. All right, with that out of the way, do you shoot your ammo or do you save your ammo? Again, me personally, I scaled back. But there's guys out there that are weekend warriors that like to go out and shoot a couple boxes of ammo, and then they go to the local store and they replace them. Right now, that's tough. And especially if you're not a reloader, you gotta go running around trying to find ammo and you're gonna pay three, four times what it's worth. Then also, if you're a reloader and you didn't stockpile, you know as well as I do, Primers right now are like a unicorn. They're just so hard to find. You can't find small or large pistol primers. Even rifle primers are going, <clears throat> excuse me. Now me, I shoot trap as well, shotgun. Now right now, as far as I've seen in my local area, shotgun primers have been plentiful. They, they've never ran out. So I I'd, uh, shot win, uh, winter trap league. I shot fall trap league. I had no issues. I had plenty of shot at my local shop. I had plenty of um, primers, which I had on hand anyway, but wads, all that stuff. He had all that there, and they're still there. The 209 primers are still available for shotgun. So that's not really an issue. Everybody knows it's an issue right now with the small and large pistol primers and rifle primers. So that's, that's the big deal. So that's causing a lot of people not wanting to go out and shoot, and I don't blame them. Me personally, I scaled back. I used to shoot four or five hundred rounds in a session now I scaled that back to like 200 250 depending just because I don't want to deplete what I have stockpiled because it's very hard to get it back I've been able to get some primers at my local shop but things are just getting worse and worse as far as uh, bullets are concerned that's not a problem powder that stuff's still pretty much there it's just the elusive primers are just so hard to find and it's causing a lot of people to think do I shoot my ammo or do I stockpile it and sit on it? And the problem that's happening is, is everybody's going out and buying ammo and driving the prices up even further, making the demand even harder because everybody just wants to have it, hold on to it because they don't know when things are going to get normal again. With that being said, my other thought process here is if you're just going to the range and you're shooting paper, you're wasting ammunition. You're just throwing lead down range for no reason, especially if you're printing a nice tight group. What do you need to keep uh, spending lead down range for? You're just wasting at that point. If you're dialed in with your firearm and you want to just go down and you know throw a box every here and there just to stay acclimated, that's fine. But beyond that, you're wasting ammunition. Unless you're doing training, you're doing CQB or you're doing some kind of training, I would say don't even waste your ammo. But if you're involved in you know uh, uh, shooting like I was in a trap league and stuff like that, that's that's different. You have to reload. You have to get ammunition because you're involved in something. But if you're just going to the range, guys, just to shoot paper and waste ammunition, I'd say save it and and hold off on shooting it. Again, unless you're in some kind of training and you have to shoot. I would just hold off and just hold on to it. Unless you have enough to carry you through and you're comfortable with your supply or you're comfortable where you're getting your ammunition from, then you know more power to you. But right now it's it's kind of a fine line, you know, between saving it and shooting it. You gotta you gotta figure what you have and how you can replace it before you go and shoot. At least that's the thought process for the foreseeable future. Because let's face it, it's not getting any better right now, and I don't think it's gonna get any better, not for quite some time. So it's a real tough situation we're all in as shooters. I mean, do you go out and, and shoot your ammunition and enjoy yourself, or do you sit and stockpile and hope things get better? You know, you gotta, again, you gotta find a, a happy medium of what you have and what you can replace it with. So far, like I said, I, you know, I have enough on hand and I have been able to replace some of the stuff as I've been using it, but it, it's scary. It's scary for all of us. I mean, we don't know when things are gonna get normal again. You see a lot of videos, uh, is it getting better, is it getting worse? It all depends on your area. I've got guys leaving me messages here on YouTube saying, uh, I don't know where you're getting your supplies from. We have nothing where I'm from. And you know, it could be like that in your area. You know, Your mileage may vary depending on where you're from. But all right, so I don't wanna make this video terribly long, but my next point I wanna talk about is have yourself a cache of ammo set aside for shit it's to fan, civil unrest, whatever. Just have enough set aside that you think you'll need for yourself to get the safety in your family. So have that cash put aside. 
that's ammo that doesn't get touched, that doesn't go to the range, that's never going to get touched. That's just for shit hits the fan scenario. Have that set aside. I have that set aside. Anything else is ex expendable. I can go to the range, do what I want with it. If it doesn't get replaced, uh, I don't go shooting. But at least have that cash set aside for, you know, shit hits the fan, civil unrest, whatever. Just have that set aside. <clears throat> take If you take anything from this video, take that. Have a cash set aside that you will not touch, period. And then anything else you have is expandable. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Be sure to hit a like on the video. Hit that bell icon to get notified when I make new content. And we'll see you guys in the next one.